Let's uh, pray we have the audio. But my gut is telling me we don't, so... Let me just hop into something else quickly. Because for some reason, this works. If I hop into an app... If you're, um... If you're streaming on mobile, and for, so, for whatever reason, you don't have audio... Just hop into a different app quickly. Come back. And then for some reason... <laughs> Your audio should come back. And it's not. Dang it. I've been lied to. Um, wait. Okay, game options. No, I should have everything. Okay. Okay, maybe if I open and close the app again? Let's see. Do do do. Moment of truth. I just want to play the event, man. <laughs> there it is! Okay. Let go. Fate Requiem. Fate Requiem. Board games and something. <laughs> I almost said adopt the Voyager. I want I want him to come home. Wonder what's happening. Oh, it was recently Children's Day in Japan. Is that why they released this? What's all the commotion about? The TTGs are the new hottest in are the new hottest in Chaldea right now? Senpai, we should investigate this matter of ourselves. What's a TTG? Wait, what? I'm not hip enough. <laughs> Wait, what is this? What's a TTGs? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. It's an abbreviation for tabletop games. <gasps> That's so cute! The database, the database says while well, TTGs in encompass a wide variety of oh god a wide variety of genres including dice cards and role playing they typically refer to board games which are the kind that chalia is currently caught up caught up in Ooh. well i haven't played many myself i do know that some of the most famous board games include chess shogi go and checkers I don't- I never get to play board games. Is it fun? My family isn't a board game family. In particular, board games have a long history, with some of them dating back to ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, and the Roman Empire. You want to try them, don't you? I didn't know the abbreviation, but I am actually something of a TDG fan myself. I want to try them! Yes, I would be very interested to give them a shot, but... As you can see, the cafeteria has been kind of taken over by the other avid TGG fans, some of whom are prone to, um, rather heated disagreements. Are they playing Monopoly? <gasps> Never let Sheba play Monopoly! I just turned the hourglass over. Now we have to solve the puzzle before it runs out of... Ungungo? You solved it already, Chip? Uh, are you kidding me? No way! This really isn't my thing. Don't worry, it's easy. Just move this piece over here and... Kid Gamish, you can't just... Oh. Hey, no helping! <laughs> but she's gotta learn! Wah! What kind of weird battle cry is that? Can't you just go, yarrr, like a normal pirate? 
I wasn't being weird, I just couldn't stop my aura from exploding out of me any longer. I get it, you're the prompt for building up your power, right? Exactly, I knew you would understand. Not brother from another mother. Oh, why did they do this to Blackbeard? <laughs> Wait, you just gave away the answer. I guess all he really wants is attention. Hmm, I'm still not feeling this, this sound charade game. If I wanted to perform, I would have gone into showbiz. Of course, I don't mind putting on a little razzle-dazzle if it helps move merchandise, but that ain't what's going on here. How about a different game? We got anywhere you have a chance to strike rich? Oh no! I smell a monopoly! I believe this offers something like that. It's all about setting sail for new lands in search of gold. Perfect! Now that's what I'm talking about! Let's go get ourselves our treasure! You're on, Spaniard! No way I'm letting you in this one! Really? It's over? Just like that? You're not even gonna comment on my heartfelt performance? Nobody beats Blackbeard in a treasure hunt. I believe. <laughs> okay, this is our field of vision. And this is the intense orientation modifier. So since we're inside the atmosphere, this changes to... Huh? I don't get any of it. But I do kind of like the way it hutches down when it's in hovering mode. Am I understanding this? Are we really about to fly off the map without ever getting to fight a single battle? I think this game might be a, a bit too realistic. I mean, if not even we Valkyries can manage to get off the ground with these systems... I can't believe things like interior management and three-dimensional movement are giving us so much trouble in this game. In real life, they're so intuitive that we don't even have to think about them. You guys are too hung up on qu close quarter dogfights. The flashy, the flashy circus action's gonna be in midair combat. It won't matter what kind of fighting it is if we can't get our units to go or aim where they're supposed to. I'm gonna try hunching down too. How's this? Am I doing it? Wait, ouch! That really does a number on your lower back. Oh. <laughs> Is that Shogi piece supposed to be me? Nito, I mean, Majeb, what is it? Oh, now that you mention it, you do look like this ghost piece, don't you? So it's just a coincidence, right? Or have you actually been a ghost this whole time or something? Insolence! How dare you! Oh, Nita Chris. Did she just flip the board? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, what's the big idea of flipping over our board? I had her right where I wanted her. This is divine justice at work. <laughs> oh, she's a rage gamer. What a cutie. You're pulling the divine justice card on me? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Hi, Ishtar. No, no, there's no need for dramatics here. Why don't you join us for the next game, Nita? I mean, uh, Majid? I think you'll find it has quite a lot of common with the ancient game, with the ancient game Queen Nefriti used to enjoy. Huh? Uh, oh no, I couldn't dare do anything so. Um, I mean, very well then. I won't lose. Ho ho ho. So you want to settle this on a game board, do you? Fine by me. <laughs> then let's go ahead and put everything back where it belongs, shall we? I think it's best if I keep the fact that I was the one, I was one move away from checkmate to myself. Oh, my brother has you! Fidgeting nervously. Gara go, go, go. Wow, I had no idea there were so many variations on saying chi- I mean, Chinese chess. <laughs> Made after it came from to China from India. Just look at all these adorable animal pieces. I especially love the giraffe and the chick. I want to Google that now. 
Wait. Do they have animal pieces? In... In... The... Chess? Chess set? Oh, wow, it is completely different. Beautiful chess sets. Dang. They're a lot nicer than the American ones. Hmm. Hmm. I can certainly see the sense in sending lions and elephants off to war. But a chick? As in a baby chicken? Are you even trying to defeat me? By the way, you there, why do you keep fidgeting like that? Eep! Grandma! S Sister Nightbright? Hmm? Tomocat? Is that you behind you, you? Sure is! What is the meaning of this? Are you trying to incur my wrath? It, it's not like that at all, sister. I promise! Wait, are you the swimsuit version? Wait, but the swimsuit version hasn't been released to NA yet. So it has to be the foreigner, right? Do you see Master over there so clearly yearning to join us? Bruh, I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> I don't play board games. You need to teach me. I want to know. I mean, like, I played Connect 4 by myself. I decided that if I saw even the slightest sign that Master might even begin to lose, I would put Tomocat up on the board to ruin the game for good. <laughs> the old classic, my pet jumped on the on the board game, so no one wins. Oh no, you don't! There will be no cats on my game board. I'm gonna ruin the game even if it costs me Master's life. Wait, what? <laughs> Tomocat, no. Come forth, Neo Gale Holmes, the Chinese Chimera. Did you just stick Nicholas Tesla's right arm and Sherlock Holmes' left arm on Florence Nightingale's body, Stolfo? <laughs> oh no! Pretty perfect, huh? That's, uh, not the word I would have chosen. Oh, <laughs> why not? You know that Nightingale's also known as the White Angel, Red Tyrant, don't you? You called. She's actually here? Does someone require treatment? Mm, not exactly. We need full-blown operations. And, um, amputations at that. Not to worry, I have plenty of experience with those. Now, where are the patients that require amputation? Is it you? What? No! It's Tesla and Holmes! Said without a moment's hes hesitation. Are you nuts? I'll begin the operation at once. Uh, I'm curious, should I stay silent or should I read things out? It's fun reading things out. Don't you dare go with her, Stolfo! Come on, let me go! You're gonna make me miss the best part. This isn't a joke. Your little stunt is about to get, is about to lead to an unimaginable disaster again. <laughs> then shouldn't you be sticking around? How else are you going to make sure justice is served? Well, uh, I would accept. Nightingale kind of scares me. Oh, Bradamate. Oh, Rip Holmes. Nightingale is after you. I must say, it's been delightful engaging in a battle of wits with you again, old chap. Though of course I don't- But of course I doubt this battle will be settled anytime soon, given the usual pace of a chess game. Only of one assumes neither of us will make any mistakes. <laughs> Fair point. Who can- <laughs> Who can be said that- Who can be said not to make the occasional mistake? Or have the audio accident. Even so, we are talking about you here. 
Is that your way of saying that this will be protracted and an evenly matched battle of wits? Well, that does, in does indeed sound most engaging. Uh-oh! Excuse me, Mr. Holmes. It's time for your emergency treatment. Treatment? Perhaps there's been some misunderstanding. I'm quite sure I've been more moderate with my usage as of late. I'll be happy to hear any concerns you may have after your treatment has been administered. Just a moment, I refuse to go anywhere without Watson, my primary physician present. <laughs> no! Sherlock! Farewell, Holmes. I'll see your final moments put to some good use in my memoirs. They will doubtlessly stir readers' curiosity and make me a bundle. How dare you point out such a vile bootleg, Professor? Whatever you do, you'd better not publish it under Watson's name. <laughs> So cute. I wonder if they'll ever make Watson summonable. That'd be fun. I'm curious what they'll make their design. There you have it, Senpai. It's basically a TTG version of Genna, or maybe a chaotic Colosseum. Colosseum? If you get too close without taking proper precautions, the constant invitations are liable to drive you mad and rob you of your ability to make a sound judgment. Oh, are you losing your way here too, Machan? Don't try to resist. Give in to the dork side. <laughs> oh my god. Come on in. We're always happy for new blood around here. I would be happy to be your opponent in any matter of game. Please, right this way. Oh, to be clear, when I speak of games now, I refer to the analog variety rather than the digital one. Yeah, this to in this Tomo Gozen is really into FPSs. Video games are still wonderful, of course, but there is also a great deal to be said for competing face to face with wooden pieces you can feel with your own hands. What do you say, Master? Uh, just for a little bit, okay? I'm actually kind of scared. Right. It's just as they say, everything in moderation. Sure, that's what everyone says at first. Good thing I stocked up on snacks and juice ahead of time. Come on, you can stay up all night with me and help me figure out this new mystery game I've been... Wait, I'm sorry, did you say mystery game? Grrrr! Oh no. Huh? What was that? Edison? What's going on? Now what is it? We should go take a look. No problem, me and my game will still be here later. Thank you, Osaka Bihime. This makes no sense! How could my direct current and I have possibly lost? <laughs> now do you understand, you mangy plebeian? <laughs> you now face the unvarnished historical truth. What's going on? Oh, hello, Franzlene. You picked a great time to show up. It sounded like there was some sort of problem here. Did they just finish a game? Things seem to be very tense around here. Don't worry, it's just business as usual. You know how Edison loves to stay on top of trends, right? In this case, it led him to trying his hands at a TDG. Still, everything was fine until Tesla challenged him to the worst kind of game possible. What sort of game? It's called Current Wars. Of all the games they could have played, it had to be one, of, one that recreates their own real-life attempts to drag each other down. Is that real? <laughs> Is that a real game? <laughs> that sounds like fun. I see. That definitely doesn't sound like the kind of game where they could settle their differences in a single round. Damn half-witted eccentric! How dare you employ such deviousness to drag Direct Current's good name through the mud! Don't blame me. The weaker option will always give way to the stronger one. It's only natural. This was inevitable. No matter how many simulations one choose to run. And they have proclaimed loud and clear that alternating currents is civilization's best friend. So now it has been proven to be the right path to take humanity to the stars and beyond. Excuse me, Mr. Tesla, but it's time for your operation. 
Hmm? What's this about? Do you need electricity for it? And by electricity, I do, of course, mean alternating current. No, all I need is your right arm. That's an oddly specific request. But very well, my lightning and I shall be there to help you at once. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know what that was all about. But at least we don't have to worry about things getting out of hand now. True, though, I can't help but worry about Tesla a little. Don't bother worrying about that halfwit. Just be get glad he's finally gone. I know he I am. I wish I summoned Tesla instead of Edison. Edison came home on a single summons, and I've never been so disappointed. <laughs> I don't like the Prezi King, I'm sorry. On a different subject, I have to say I don't care for these board game things. In fact, I consider them an outright eyesore. Only because you're not actually won one, right? How could these things possibly be any good if they don't let the obviously correct choice prevail even once? <laughs> yes, yes, let's just leave it at that. I swear, I'd love to know where you get that confidence from. At any rate, it's abundantly clear that these new f newfangled games are a complete waste of time. I'm with you. The only thing worse than a game played alone is one you have to play with other people. Disagreements are meant to be resolved on the battlefield. Bringing them home is just crazy. Oh, great. Now we've got this guy. He seems like he'd turn every game he plays into some kind of deathmatch. Tr true. He certainly isn't the kind of person I expected to show up here. I think he may only add fuel to the proverbial fire. Wonderful! I don't know who you are, friend, but I am de delighted to find a like-minded compatriot. You want to add me to your friends list? Request denied. Anyway, why don't you tell them how it really is? Games are meaningless diversions. They're nothing but pathetic time killers for hypocrites. No matter how much you play them, they'll never leave you with anything of value. I'm feeling very called out now. They're, they're practically the devil himself tempting you away from focusing on things that really matter. And they should all be regulated out of existence. That's what you really want to say, isn't it? Hmm, I don't know. This might be going a bit too far, even for me. Here we go. Let's just leave it at that for now, shall we? Besides, plenty of things out there have more value than you might expect. It's not like the only things that you can see or touch or that endure forever have value in this world. Some people find games to be the most fulfilling thing life has to offer, while others find fulfillment by living through as as living through life as if it were a game. But there's nothing wrong with any of that. Let's play the game of life. For example, Edison, did you know that some people refer to you and Nicola's engineering battles as a game played between geniuses? Um, easy for them to say. Now I see, so that's why there's even a board game based on their conflict. So TTGs offer people an opportunity to pit their wits against each other's, pushing each other to greater heights than they could reach on their own. If that's true, it doesn't seem right to just do away with them all and say they're a waste of time. You said it! I couldn't agree more! D da Vinci! There's nothing wrong with, with games. In fact, they're great at making people practice thinking things through and ca taking calculated risks. But, as in all things, moderation is key. Is there a problem? What brings you here? I'm glad you asked. We kind of got some kind of bizarre phenomenon on our hands. Is this about that mysterious new game? Mysterious game? Now that you mention it, I do recall someone mentioning something along those lines. Oh, um, I think my laptop just turned off. What? Hello? Yeah, someone left it just lying around here. No idea who owns it, or even how to play it, since it doesn't come with a manual. All we know for sure, it comes in five count- Count them five boxes. 
It appears to be a standard board game that has been customized with an assortment of house rules, so there is nothing stopping us from playing it. The funnest thing about board board games I've um I've learned about is uh is I, I went to a board game cafe with a bunch of friends and we just make up our own rules <laughs> with the board and it's fun. So yeah. I'm sensing some kind of ominous some something kind of ominous about it. Hmm, a board game that spontaneously appeared on its own? Huh, bizarre, but fascinating. Have you all already played it? Mochi course! I mean, what's the point of discovering a new game if you're not going to try it? Hell, the mechanics are so crazy deep that we were about to stay up all night trying, to, trying them all out. I can understand being curious about the unknown, but I'm a little in in concerned about how engrossing it's proven to be. How bad is it? I think you better see for yourself. Come with me. Da Vinci can dan Da Vinci can blockade. Oh, is this like Jumanji? Oh boy, it's plundering me. Your lumber is now mine, Maria. How could you, uh, uh, Medias? You You didn't have to use lumber. You could have just made do with bricks. Just as easily, you big jerk. That's the closest Marie has ever come to using profanity. Something definitely isn't right here, senpai. They all look as though they've been possessed. Hey, guys, how many days has it been since you got any sleep? If you're talking about how much we need to sleep, that comes down to per personal preference. But if you're talking about our manag magical energy reserves, I think we all have plenty to spare. I understand how you feel. It's all too easy, easy to lose track of everything when one is caught up in a game. Must be nice to be so oblivious. Or maybe the word I'm looking for is greedy. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's all shut ourselves in and take a plunge into this game's world. Uh-oh, if I pursue this any further, I don't know if there'll be any coming back. But then again, I can practically hear the mystic calling me to me. They all look like they're having the time of their lives. Senpai, um, do you think maybe we can join them? Just for a round or two. Come on! Join us! TDGs are awesome! Trust me! Are you all high? What is happening? No! They've all become completely addicted! <laughs> Funny, you know? Why is, why is Edison the only one with common sense? This game is far too dangerous to leave it unregulated. I'll have to put out a Prezi King exclusive executive order banning it forever. Oh my god, I hate it when he uses the term Prezi King. It just, oh, it just rubs me the wrong way. I hate it. I hate it. It, it makes me cringe. Yeah, you don't have that kind of a court authority here. And even if you did, the heroic spirits would never obey it. We're gonna have to figure out another solution to this problem. <gasps> My baby boy! Huh? Senpai, do you recognize that child over there? I don't think I've seen him before. I really want you- Please let me summon you. Please come to my child, yeah? I'm broke. I don't even have enough for a ten summons. Who are you? Me? Where did you come from? Far away. That's strange. It almost feels like there's some kind of lag in his responses. He came from inside that game. Did- uh-huh. Did you say from inside the game? Yes, I did. I saw him come out myself. The game on the table jumped all of a sudden. Then the boy came tumbling right out. Huh? Find a mystery game, now a mystery boy. If I'm not mistaken, he looks like he's a servant, too. Uh, game? The 
The place it looks like you came from. You mean you don't know? I don't think so. That's why I got lost. Lost? So you're a lost servant? I will take you home, please. <laughs> no, not me. I know the way. I'm not going to get lost. But... She's different. She's always been lost. She never goes to the forest. She never drops to the desert. She just stays alone in the city, surrounded by people. That's why I came here, from where she is. What are you talking about? But you are qualified. So you are... A special case. What is it that you have there? You've been holding onto it this whole time, haven't you? Is it a rose? Why are you hiding it? Is it a secret? Is it something bad? N no. Then why won't you let me see it? Because you need to be qualified. <sighs> Qualified? Is that why Fern can see it, but not I? Qualifications, huh? Sounds like he's talking about master aptitude. That would explain it. Means the new kid really is a servant, then. He sure doesn't look like a hero to me. So, does that mean you're choosing Senpai to be your master? Please come home! Please! Please! Uh, master? You don't know what a master is? Well, that's strange. Why did you come here, anyway? I'm still in the middle of a journey. Which is exactly why I... Hey, miss, would you look at this? What's that? Yeah, what is it? A game piece? Oh-ho! This is exquisitely made! Let me see! I want to see, too! Edison can see it, but I can't. You're so mean. Because he's allowed to see it. Oh? He's the one who led me to the stars. He's the one who set me on my journey. Aha! I've got it! I know what your true name is now! You remember me? But of course. You're a voyager. That's right. That is what some people called me. His sprites are so cute! I just want to ruffle his hair and pinch his cheeks. I knew it, your Voyager, the unmattered space probe. You launch into the the, 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 the unmattered space probe, unmanned space probe. You launch your outer reaches of our solar system was once of the most heroic feats humanity has ever accomplished. Voyager. That's what they used to call people who explore the, un the unknown on ships, right? But you're the actual ship? Yes, I'm a ship. Although, I can't carry any passengers. A space probe? So you're a servant of an inanimate object? I mean, I know there have been other servants who came about when the concepts of certain man-made creations became heroic spirits, but... Yes, exactly! People really do come out of all sorts of lo lovely dreams, don't they? Why did you come home to my brother and not me, nursery rhyme? So hurt. Just goes to show, how many people saw Vo Voyager here as a true hero? Personally, I couldn't be prouder. He began his grand adventure in the summer of 1977, when he embarked on a journey across the Sea of Stars. In fact, his voyage even continues today, using the gravitational pull of passing planets to slingshot himself beyond the helosphere. Heliosphere. What an amazing accomplishment, and even now his ultimate destination is still being updated. Um, da -da 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 -da. Why, your journey continues to expand humanity's map of the universe, even as we speak. I'm not really sure what you're talking about. 
I see. So you're just like a pseudo servant. That's a record of both the past and currently ongoing phenomena. Pseudo servant? Essentially, you're the embodiment of people's aspirations to reach outer space. You're the hope of a brighter future, a guide for all of humanity, and the crystallized essence of the time when people believed in unhinged, unhindered progress, all rolled into one. Would you mind if I take a look at your treasure too? It must really be something special. Mm. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you care more about your pledge to the stars and stripes than you do Renaissance Umo Universal. I can see why you'd be proud, Edison. It was the U.S. that came up with the Voyager plan, after all. Ha ha ha! Of course it was! My homeland has always been at the forefront of progress and innovation. That being said, you yourself said you were still in the middle of a journey, Voyager. So what are you doing here? And why did you come out of a board game? Don't try to deny it. I saw the whole thing. Is it because you decided to end the game for good? If so, I wouldn't mind helping you out. I... 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 That's the game piece he was holding on to. I think he wants you to take it, Senpai. You want to play this game? I'm afraid it's too late for that now. You'll just have to wait until tomorrow. Oh, look at you scowling back. Seems you mean business. So what is it you want? You trying to challenge us? Lure us in? Mm. That's enough for now, Emiya. He's obviously just exhausted. Come on, Voyager. I'll show you the way to my workshop. Mm. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm just going to run some tests on you, that's all. Oh no! There's a bad person doing bad things here! Oh, stop it. This is well within the scope of my operations as Chaldea's technical advisor. Honestly, I'd love to bring back the mystery game and take a look at that, too. <laughs> Are they okay? But something tells me they're not going to be putting it down anytime soon. Be extra careful with him, alright? Voyager there is the pride and joy of all of humanity, you know. Don't worry, I'm well aware. Hmm. What is it, kid? Got something to say? If you got something to say, spit it out. You might be a heroic spirit, but it still only takes a second for, one, for an idea to die on a vine. Especially for you idealistic types. Mm -hmm. Well, good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. I want to go where she is. Baby boy! Voyager certainly is a mysterious boy, isn't he? He certainly has a will of his own, but he talks as though there's a constant time barrier going in between us. I also noticed he kept looking directly at you, senpai. Maybe I should have accepted what he wanted to give me. No, I think you made the right choice there, Senpai. Da Vinci was indirect about it, but she warned us to be careful around him. Oh, but he seems like such a good boy! There's still a lot we don't know about the Voyager, after all. But it did pain me to have to refuse. He looks so earnest. I can't imagine... That all he wants is to just play a game. I wonder what he was trying to tell us. Hopefully Da Vinci will be able to figure out the lag issue in her workshop. I wonder who is he so concerned about? We'll have to go over it in detail tomorrow. Absolutely. The next morning. Senpai, come quick! It's the servants!
<laughs> oh wow, a lot of people are actually playing Fate Go right now. Dang! Shoo! <laughs> okay, let's continue. They've all gone missing! It is Jumanji! Given the ta cafeteria's state of disarray, I can only imagine they must have simply disappeared while they're still caught up in their all-night game night. Hey there, Fern. I'm afraid it's just as bad as it looks. All the servants who were having a blast here last night are nowhere to be seen. Where did everyone go? Far as I can tell, they made a Spiritron drive to a different phase of existence in something... Strangely similar to a ray shift. It seems they were trapped inside a board game. Specifically, that mysterious new one. A game that traps servants? I think I remember something like that happening before. I've been trying to contact the trapped servants, but so far, no dice. And I doubt they'll be able to make it back on their own either. So yes, as Mash said, it looks like they're all been entrapped inside this, this game. Oh my, so they all got caught up in the game? They've fallen head over heels for? Or well into it? I knew it! I knew we should have banned all games for good! You had the right idea, you just didn't act on it soon enough. But hey, this worked out nicely. Now that all those lazy servants are gone, Chaldea's overall ability to plan and execute has gone way up. I don't care! We've got to save them! <sighs> Can the ba bad boy route alter? Not the time. It's not a routine. I'm just saying what everyone's thinking. Still, a job's a job. If the object's to save them, then that's what I'll do. Mm. I can go want to go with me voyager oh yeah i haven't mentioned it yet have i voyager here's a foreigner a visitor from another world and according to eyewitness testimony he came from inside this very game it's true i saw him myself voyager does this mean we can you can take us inside the game if you want to come with me I'm sure I can take you. Me? Uh oh. I see, that kind of sounds like a contract. And you did say last night that Senpai was qualified. So you meant that she was qualified to go inside this mysterious game as one of its players. I still don't know what you mean by game. But this place is complicated and dangerous. And kind of fun. It's also where we'll find her. Come on, let's go. Here. Want me to take this? Let's go. Together. Okay, you got it! Oh, it's such a cute sprite! I'm glad you're the kind of person I thought you were, Lone Master of Chaldea. A golden light surrounding Senpai and Voyager. They're both flo glowing and floating in the air. Ah! Let me ask you something. Are we friends? Of course, sweetheart! Then let's go find her. Wait, please take me with you, too. I can't just sit back and do nothing. I have to go ever after everyone, too. Has Voyager's de facto legal, gu legal guardian, I have the responsibility to come along and ensure your safety. Well, I can't let you run off with nothing but a couple of casters for protection. All right, let's see what kind of nonsense we get up to this time. I'll stay here. Someone's got to make sure we have... A way to stay in touch after all. Alright, you guys. Bon viaggio. Yeah, bon viaggio. I can't pronounce Italian help. You have a lot of friends, don't you? Yes. 
She used to too, but now she's all alone. What are you talking about? You'll see what I mean once you meet her yourself. So ex it looks like we get a new limited time of event servant as well, and I'm so excited. Oh, I miss Hisoka, Hisoka, Hisoka uh, swimsuit because of that bullshit fight. <laughs> Let's go! Board games of the apocalypse. Oh god. First game, monopolizing Mosaic City. Is that? Ooh, this looks like an interesting map. A game board? Ooh! What is this place? Where are we? This is Akihabara, a city inside the game. Akihabara? This doesn't look like the Akihabara I know. Akihabara, a town famous for its technology and culture. Although I don't recall it being, recall half of it being underwater before. It's certainly beautiful, but it's decadent beyond redemption. Even for a game setting, this is just too sad. Assuming those aren't tears, this must be the ocean. No, I'm sure of it. A great body of salt water is emanating its way towards the city. Maybe the ice caps melted? So the sea level has written, risen so much that Akihabara is now a coastal city? <laughs> Looks like this place managed to hold on just one step shy of a full-blown collapse. Cop-outs. <laughs> Of course, Emiya Alter's just like, ugh, this city should've just sank. That's mean. This is a very special city. A big war took place here. The last war that ever revolved around the Holy Grail. The last Holy Grail war? It happened a little after you. I'm sure you're all okay. That war changed a lot of things. It's what made the city like this. This place is important to me. I'm sure it is to her, too. So I'm sure this is where we'll find her. Still don't know who you're talking about. But I'm, I'll help you, sweetie. I'll help you. My best friend. She got lost, and now she's all alone. There's, There aren't many people like this in the city, because here... Oh, hey! I didn't know you guys were here, too. Welcome to Akihabara, and it's Mont de Dieu. Huh, now, what's Mont de Dieu? It's the world of play inside this board game. You guys saw the pieces that make up the mysterious game set too, right? Those are the miniatures of Mont de Dieu. There are five cities all together, each with their own game. Akihabara here is one of them. I see, that does set a shed a lot of light on what's going on, but I'm still wondering who um your gingerbread friend is. I personally thought he was made of jello. Hey, who are you calling gingerbread? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, master. These people still have a lot to learn of the way about the ways of the world. Nani? Huh? Did you just um, call that figure master? I sure did. This lovely lady here is my master here in Akihabara. Of course, though, I didn't find that out until after I got here either. Don't be ridiculous, Helena. You and I have always been destined to be partners. Were we? Yeah, you must be right. This is my Akihabara self we're talking about, after all. What's going on, Senpai? Both Helena and this world seem a little off. They're not just a little off. They're way off. People don't look like this in the Akihabara I know. 
I see, so this is strange to you too. The master looks just like the meeple pieces in one of my favorite board games. So even humans become a literal part of the game here. As scandalous as that is, I can't help but admire the sheer s scale of this standardization. Hey, quit staring at me! Oh, um, I'm sorry. What's going on here, Helena? Are these people servants? They're not rogue servants, are they? By all means, I'd be happy to explain my temporary master. These people are servants of Chaldea. That girl is the only master among them. What? You mean she's a sim single master with multiple servants? I'm gonna sneeze! <coughs> oh, pardon, it was just a cough instead. But that's impossible! It's perfectly normal in Chaldea. You know how in this city everyone has a holy grail within them? As well as a contract with a servant? Well, in Chaldea, there are only a few holy grails in the entire world. Unbelievable! Those poor people! How in the world do they get by without their own holy grail? Well, now that- now, Well, now, what a fascinating setting! So in this world, everyone and their mother has a contract with a heroic spirit. I've never heard of anything like it. It sounds simply wonderful. Sounds downright terrifying. What happens when someone draws a servant who's only good for killing, like me? I'll tell you, any hope of an average Jane had a d of dying a peaceful death goes right down the drain. What makes you think that? Aren't you a good person? Yeah, he is. He's just an edgy, edgy boy. Person? No. Weapon? Yeah. Which means I'm also a halfway decent servant. Like I said, the only thing I'm good for is killing. It's the whole reason I'm here. And as long as I and everyone else around me knows who I am, knows what I am, there's no problem. Period. Simple, right? Now don't ask me any more pointless questions. I couldn't help it. You kind of remind me of someone I know. <laughs> On a different subject, what is it that brings you here, Master of Chaldea? I'm here to save everyone who went missing. You mean, like me? It's not just you, Blatsky. A great number of servants have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. They must have all been trapped in this game world. We need to bring them home at once! Oh my goodness me! You want to kidnap my precious Helena? Don't worry, Master of Akihabara. I love my new life here. What are you saying, Helena? You don't seriously mean to stay here, do you? Don't, don't you remember your friends at Chaldea? There's me, the half-witted eccentric. The Sigurdsonner bastard. You guys don't get it, do you? Do you really think you can just leave whenever you want it? Huh? What do you mean? The moment you jumped into the Mon de Dieu, you all came a part of this world's mechanics. So you need to play the game if you want to leave Akihabara and go somewhere else. So we have to play this game and win? Winning will own, earn you tokens like this one. Ooh, fancy. Once you have enough tokens, you'll be able to acquire the qualifications you need to leave the city. What happens should we lose the game? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Hmm? Why, Fern, I didn't know you already had your own piece. Even if it isn't a maple, meeple, meeple? I'm glad you to see you're so excited about this. Does that mean you're going to try a hand at the game? What other choice do I have? Then let me give you this token as a little parting gift. An Artoria coin? Game start! Alright, it's time for our first game. Cut, pulley. What? Oh, it's Monopoly! There's a turtle! Oh, wait, what, huh? We're being raided! <laughs> thank you, thank you! Hi! Hi, hi! 
Hey, Saka. Sa Saki. Hello. I'm so sorry. I can't pronounce your name. <laughs> hey, I hope you're doing well. I just finished some play playing some fake go. <laughs> Aww. Here, let me just quickly follow you back. Um. Boop. Was doing some story? Yeah, I just started the event. No problemo! Thank you for the follow as well! The rules are simple. Roll the dice to determine the number of spaces to move, and something will happen on whichever property your piece ends up on. <laughs> it truly is no problem! Aw, I just want to support people. Thank you so much for the raid! It was very unexpected! Thank you, thank you! I hope you have a wonderful day! <laughs> Aww, that's very sweet of you. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> the goal is to claim the whole city of Akihabara for yourself. <laughs> oh, I know this one. This is the famous board game where players complete, compete to, the, to own property and grow their companies. Can I play too, Senpai? I always wanted to try it. This is the game that breaks friendships, though. Let me roll the dice. I'm really good at it. So you're all gonna team up, huh? Fine with me. Just make sure your team stays the same until the game is over. The rest of you don't have milkies, <laughs> right? Then you'll have to just spec. <laughs> kudos, kudos. Hey, I'm definitely enjoying this voice acting. Not all at all easy to do. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, especially since that I did a VN, uh, v VN stream last night, so my voice is still a little bit raspy. But I saw the, I, I saw the new event, and I just couldn't resist. The rest of you don't have me, please, right? Then you'll just have to spectate this time. <laughs> Fine with me. I'm fine with me. I'm a little tired anyways. I wonder if it's too soon for afternoon tea. <laughs> it's long, but it's so fun. When I find a visual novel with like voice acting in it, I'm like, oh my god, wait, this is really cool, but I also kind of feel like I'm being replaced. <laughs> yeah, agreed. <laughs> I'd love to... I'd, I'd love to see you, um, see you play a VN sometime. That'd be fun. But yeah, it's nice to meet you too. I'm just gonna call you Aki to say to to save me and my reading. <laughs> Some time for sure. Yay! Fine with me. I'm a little tired, anyways. I wonder if it's too soon for afternoon tea. Ooh! I hope you have fun with Dongan Rampa too. Oh, you voice act in both? I'll be sure to visit the Danganronpa 2 one then. Danganronpa is, is a really fun, fun game to, to watch and play. Well, even though I haven't played it myself. I have watched, I have watched it though. <laughs> is it your first playthrough of Danganronpa? Uh, very well then. We'll stay and relax in the salon by the starting point. Good luck, Fern. Oh, it is? Completely blind. Ooh, I wish you the best of luck of solving the murders in Danganronpa then. Take it from me and you don't want to and you don't want to make these kinds of games drag on for too long. Make sure you get back while I've still got my wits about me. Okay, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Maybe I'll catch a stream and try to give you so some hints one day. If you, if you want them. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here I go. <laughs> Dude, I was stuck on one point for an hour? Oh my god, bro, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it do be like that sometimes, though. Uh... Ooh, 
an Artoria token. Nice. Hey, roll a dice. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did they add gotcha to more gotcha? <laughs> the struggles. Who's your favorite in Danganronpa 2? Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I will. I really hope to get the limited time time servant here. Do, do, do. Ooh, okay. So I can control the space I land on. I only have normal dice. <laughs> His voice is so cute! Ibuki! She is amazing. I'm sorry, I keep pausing because I just hear the Voyager's voice and it's the cutest thing. <laughs> oh, Bradamate! Welcome to the Potato Pet Shop. People love his voice. I want, I want, it, I want him to come home, but I have no Saint Quartz to my name. It's so sad. Potato? Don't you mean pooch or something? I named it after my big brother's favorite food. He says all he eat, it's all he eats since becoming a servant. The feels. Wait, what? What? The feels from what? <laughs> Take care! Thank you so much for raining! Hope you have a wonderful day once again! Anyway, what kind of pet are you looking for? Ours are all adorable as they are friendly. <laughs> oh yeah, the lack of Saint Cords. Fair, fair. Bye bye! I see you let them all run around freely, too. <sighs> that is not a pet! <laughs> huh? Now they're rushing straight at us? Thank you, thank you! This is pretty fun! <laughs> okay, Bazaka. Let's... <laughs> no, Weaver, stop. Stop. I'm going to my event health <laughs> section. Okay. Oh wait, actually, I should put the other craft essences back here. Boop -ba -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, okay. Let's just use event event servants because we can. And Tomokozen Arts Berserker. I mean Arts Buster. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. actually, yeah, I'll go with that. Why not? <gasps> yes! It hires Bond level with them, too! Nice! I need to stop my tapping. <laughs> my tapping addiction. This is just for yourself, right? Yep. Oh. <laughs> What a wholesome person to run into. I hope I get to catch one of their streams. I'd love to raid them back one day. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Lucky, why do you break into my room, buddy? Hey, you wanna hop on the bed? No, no. Bed. <laughs> Hey, you wanna hop onto my chair? Come on! Yay! Oh god! Hey, buddy! Oh, you wanna smell the phone? Ow! Ow! Oh, you wanna get off? Yeah, you got your pets. I understand. <sighs> what? Okay, fine. There. <laughs> Battle is over. I'm glad we were able to calm them down. Oh my, just look at these poor things chomping away. They must have been absolutely starving. You tried to feed us to them! Something about a pet store treating its customers as feed seems off to me. I'm never coming here again, never. Pets are supposed to be cute. <laughs> Please come home! I'm so sorry about all that. 
I hope this will make it up to you. Oh! G a little Gareth? No, no, that's not Gareth. That's Gwen. Okay. So are, are we collecting tokens of all the knights of the round? Oh, eight of them. Not. <laughs> Actually, I... Oh, free games. Yeah, I'd rather do the free games first and then roll the dice again. <laughs> Fellow man of culture, you say? Boop. Assassins, eh? Assassins. I have no bonus assassins. Boop. <laughs> Ooh, the wind's actually getting pretty strong. I can hear it shaking my window. Interesting. Oh, Rainstar47! Thank you for the follow! Thank you, thank you! I'm so sorry for just noticing! Aw, Jackie, so close. Ow. Is there another one? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, Ishtar. Okay, yeah, triple, triple quick. What would be the bonus assassin? For this game, I, wonder. I mean, for this event. Ooh, okay, I, okay, you can get dice drops during farming. Got it. But, ooh, in order not to waste farming, in order not to waste the apples, I better just, uh, wait until more of the event comes out. Do, 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 do. Line up. There you go. Boop, boop. Any more riders? Nope, just Marie. We'll take Da Vinci then. <laughs> she kept coming home. She's at Noble Phantasm 4, and I don't know why. Come on, laptop. Wake back up. Ooh, triple arts. Oh, I forgot to use the Vinci skill, my bad. But yeah, I'm actually surprised by how many people are streaming Fake Go right now. Huh, I guess Fake Go is a morning game. <laughs> They updated Marie's animations. I didn't know that. Wait, Marie, do, do a thing. <laughs> they have rosy petals and stuff now. That's so pretty. Oh, sorry, Da Vinci. Here, you can have this. This is important to you. Ooh, 
Tamo. How about we play a coin game? <laughs> Aw, you're still too low. Oh. Try this oh, did you get a Noel Phantasm update? Uh, oh. Okay, they did change it a bit. Interesting. Oh. I wonder when they gave her the animation update. I'm so proud of her. Good job, Marie. Well, good job, devs. Not exactly, Marie. Um... Everyone just throwing their mashes. Uh, I'm bankrupt, please help. I feel that, bro. I feel that on a spiritual level. Free game battle advanced. Uh, Scandinavia! The Scandinavia lost belt! The <laughs> memories! <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't that bad with my appetite. If anyone is struggling, it is my brother. And I laugh at him in the corner. <laughs> Oh, yes, I forgot to do this. I really need really to go farming for materials again. Ooh, that was pretty. Oh my gosh, what do you have against MASH? What did she ever do to you? We're honestly not doing as much damage as I thought we would. Huh. Oh, they're level 17, that's why. Oh, they're little baby berserkers! Wait, I summoned more than one? Very I am so sorry. I you guys deserve to be healed. <laughs> Wait. Details. I've ha I have two Marie's? I was not aware of this. Where did the second one come from? So mean to Da Vinci Lily, how dare. Okay. Oh, pardon, I almost sneezed. <laughs> Plundering is nice, even if it is a game. Muscle so set it settling type gamer, hiking type gamer. <laughs> <gasps> I like the little little add-ons of um, what they decide to name the name the mobs. It's always so fun. Ooh. What are you? A life counter? Interesting. 
<laughs> a special die with the only numbers four and six. <laughs> oh my heart! Be still, my heart, whenever he speaks. あたらしい日本の古い呼び方ではふと興味を覚えたのですがいいそう気をこれがトークンだねお<笑><笑> oh, she's a lancer have we ever had an event lancer before この奇妙な星たちの空も Oh, it's one of these. Daisobu, open. Next mission. Konnichiwa. Boku, Omisabananda. Kimi, Hoshimono, Arakai. Oh. What's a fragment of a twinkling star? And how do I have five of them? <laughs> Dang, okay. I'm gonna have to do a lot of farming. Nego. You little thief! You just flinched some food again, didn't you? It wasn't me, master. You've got the wrong cat, Wolf. Cat, what's the problem? I'll tell you what the problem is. Cat here is supposed to be doing the cooking, but instead, she's been tasting enough food for a party of eight. I never did anything of the sort. I might follow my instincts wherever they take me, but I don't let them think for me. Besides, I don't need that many calories to get by. I'm a napper, not an eater. I feel that. <laughs> There's another cat looking in from the back entrance. A really, really big cat. See? That's the real culprit, Woof. Watch out! It's even stronger than it looks. Let's catch it! Whoa there, Mash. Hang on. I'm guessing it's a Chimera? Saban. No extra Sabans. Wait, why is Melda here? <laughs> Melda, why are you here? Who do I want to raise the bond level of? I don't think Circle's at bond level 5 yet. Oh, she is! Okay. Um. Like, okay, if it isn't obvious, it's my goal to get every servant at least to bond level 5. So here, here you go. Here you go. Oh, it's Jaguar Warrior! Oh. oh, there we go. I didn't register the first tap. I hope that everyone's having a great time so far. Well, a relaxing evening. Oh. Afternoon, for my case. Pardon. <laughs> 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 Cutscene. It got away. These paw prints perfectly match the ones in the kitchen. That clinches it. No need for a trial here. Oh man, I'm sorry, cat. I guess I really did have you all wrong. That's all I needed to hear, master. Just let me have one of these carrots and we'll be Stefan. As for you, Miss Marvelous Passerby, I'd like to give you give you this. I'd like I'd like you to have this as a show of gratitude, woof. 
Oh! A Summer Tomo token! Thank you, thank you! Claws of Chaos. Eleven. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Sarana! This Coliseum is for the chosen heroic spirits only. If you wish to enter, you must demonstrate either your intelligence and bravery or your good fortune. I'll register you for the Holy Grail Terminant. Just, just this once? I'll even waive the registration fee. Alright, you're all set to fighting. Good luck! Ooh, assassin caster. A uh, little uh, uh, Let's just have riders. Riders fight riders, bro. Let's go. I have a horrible habit of just tapping tips rapidly when it's loading. I'm so sorry. Ooh, Osmoditis and Gilgamesh. Both, honestly, amazing. Oh, oh. Ori, you're so cute. どうしようかな。何か捨てにせよ。I'm gonna go ahead and heal. <laughs> oh, this is for yourself. Oh, for all allies. Nice. Oh, wait, I should have checked. <laughs> I should have checked. <laughs> it feels so weird being attacked by a cast member. Especially as someone who owns one <laughs> and ha and has him like as a regular party member. Oh, but I should have went for Kasumish first. <laughs> now that I think about it, because he has a multi-hit noble phantasm, while also Meditus only has single. Oh well, you're gonna get hit by three of them anyway, so it's cool. あいつ食べていいさ。ダメだよ。ほうじゃ、ぬくじゃ。おりょうさん、いけるかか。あまさか、ここに縫われし、国津のオロチ。我なすことは我のものさし。あまさく。龍が届く。多少はやるか、この。
Ooh, 50 mana prisms. Thank you, thank you. Antenna. Kondo Ryoko. Atarashi Questo Mitsuketa yo. Okay, so Seba. Seba, Seba, Seba. Oh, yep, I have you at bottom level right now. Boop. The Lost Reaper. So it's either the Valkyries? Who else could be the Lost Reaper and be a Lancer? Oh! The, 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 the event servant! Huh? Is something wrong, Voyager? Why did you stop? I found her. Huh? That's her. Hurry, that's your lost friend? That's the girl you've been searching for? What do you guys want? If you're here to stop me, I'll end you. I've been looking for you, Aris. No, no way, Voyager? Is that you? What are you doing here? And who are they? Why are you with them? I'm his partner in this game, so... You're a player of this game, too? And I guess this means you're also, um, Voyager's new m master I guess so, at least for now. I don't think we have a, an official contract in place yet, but probably. I see, so that means we're rivals. <clears throat> Pardon. Although, of course, unlike you, I don't have anyone else helping me out. Um, I think your Voyager said your name is Aris? Is that right? Some people used to call me that. Not that any of them are still around. But these days I think the other name I go by might be a better fit. You have another name? What is it? The Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper? Of course, right now I'm just playing this game here in the Mont de Dieu. I'm sure you're not thrilled with the idea of fighting for your lives, but I really can't stand le needless dramatics. So don't worry, I'm going to destroy this entire messed up world, and all of you along with it. Once I've done that, everything should go back to normal. Wait, there must be a way we can resolve this peacefully! Gr Grim Reaper? Did you say Grim Reaper? Really? Don't give me that nonsense. Every game needs its winners and losers. Uh oh. <laughs> no more tapping. No more tapping for your 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 streaming. No tapping. Hey, I thought the Voyager's voice sounded familiar. It sounds similar to Beniyama's. It's a tad more masculine. Wow, you really have something against Rama. Oh, death chance. Ooh, water. Ready. I completely forgot that was for all allies and not just for yourself, Rama. I'm so sorry. You're a good king, and I forgot. Yoga, get it. 
別れの時ね<笑>青少編の磨き方もだいぶマスターしてきました先輩の顔が映るくらいにピカピカですこういうインテリアダヴィンチちゃんに頼めば作ってもらえるでしょうか<笑>小さなことからコツコツ<笑> That's so cute. I take it you're all okay? Edison, nursery rhyme, Alter, you're all here! We saw you were fighting that girl. Who is she? Is she a servant? That was a race. She's lost. So that's the friend you've been telling us about, Voyager? Uh, yes? I'm not really sure. But I do know one thing. She wasn't always like that. Then something must have happened to her. Something that happens so often people hardly notice. People decline, they make mistakes, they rot from the inside out. It's common for someone to grow entirely unrecognizable over time. But you still want to save Aris, don't you, Voyager? Yes, that's why I came here, and why I wanted you to come. Will you save her? You bet! I can't sit back! I can't sit back and do nothing after seeing her like that, anyways. Besides, I think helping her could give us a lead on how to bring the other servants home. Thank you, Fern. I'm happy. It was good that it was you. Congratulations! <laughs> you startled me. By the way, I know this is short notice, but I have some good news. Fern, you now have enough, enough tokens to try your hand at the next stage! D does that mean we beat this game? You can always play it again if you like, especially if you ever need more tokens. In the meantime, the tram to the next stage will be leaving soon. Good luck! Thanks for everything, Miss Helena. You're really enjoying yourself, aren't you? That's <laughs> obvious, huh? But hey, Sometimes you just gotta relax your mind if you want to win a, win the game, right? Game finish! Yay! <laughs> Where's the tram she mentioned? I don't see one anywhere. Over here, follow me. Oh, the temptation to sw squish his cheeks is growing. You're going to lead us? Are you sure you know the way? Somehow, I can just tell that Aris is up ahead. I, for one, have no doubts that the Voyager can lead the way. Oh, this is so pretty. I've never been on a tram before. A tram that crosses the Sea of Stars, huh? How very poetic. No doubt it's using direct current for its power supply. I, um, suppose it could be. Hey guys! Miss me? Da Vinci! Phew! Finally got our comms link established. Glad to see you're all in good shape. So, how are things on your end? We found the girl Voyager's been looking for, but... Gotcha, that does sound pretty weird. I take it this Aris is most like is almost certainly a servant then? 
Based on the extraordinary combat paralysis she demonstrated, I do think that's a possibility, but... Something's still nagging at you? Yes, the fact that Erase was all alone. Back in Akihabara, everyone had their own personal holy grail, and lived alongside their servant. But as I said, Erise was acting all on her own, which must mean... She might have been here as a player. Gotcha. In that case, we can't discount the possibility that Arise, like you, is actually a human mage. Interesting. That would definitely explain why she doesn't seem to be like other servants. So, Voyager. Based on everything we know so far, it seems like a safe bet that you are Arise's contracted servant? What do you know about her? Anything you can tell us? The Arise I know is human. The last one in that city. That's why I... It looks like he's confused too. Let's say Voyager here is a rogue servant. If that's true, then what does that make her? If she's a heroic spirit, then what... What great feat did she accomplish? What's the legend giving her life? Unlike with the Voyager, I couldn't even begin to guess what her story might be. Personally, she seemed like something straight out of Japanese mythology to me. All I know for sure is her outfit and spear both seem like they came from ancient Japan. Agreed. She looked like she had some divine elements about her. Unfortunately, her magical energy flow her magical energies flow is so complex, she was hard to get a good read on. Seemed like a sea god, water god, or a god of the underworld. Making her a high servant, an amalgamation of multiple gods, all in a single human vessel. Or she could be a pseudo-servant, being possessed by a god. So minor, I can't imagine who they could be. A uh, pseudo-servant? I'm impressed with all your- I'm impressed with all your knowledge and how you've applied it. But how can you be so sure of the details? I come across a lot of these things in my line of work. Once you know their scent, they're easy to spot. Besides, this isn't obvious from besides, this isn't obvious from the way she fought. She was clearly combining elements from multiple myths and and myths and legends. Sorry, I, I was I seem to be stumbling on my words. <laughs> Goes to show you that even in a modern materialistic place like Akihabara, there's still land with ties to mythology. Now that you mention it, there is a shrine smack dab in the middle of Akihabara, isn't there? If I'm not mistaken, it's dedicated to Oma Muchi, San Kunbiki Kona, and Tara no Masukado. <laughs> ah, I do not recognize any of those names, and I deeply apologize for butchering them. Maybe it has something to do with Aris? I'll be honest, I'm going purely from gut here. I don't have a single shred of evidence to back it up. I'm a, I'm a big believer in flashes of insight, though. For example, Omamuchi is said to have brought many gods to a single amalgamation, eventually changing his name to Okininushi. Oki ni oki ni if that's true, then he's basically the god equivalent of a high servant. Legends say that. Oh. <laughs> Legends say, also say that Onamuchi worked with Saku na bi Kona to build Japan. Only this version of the Sakubo no Kana was actually a wise Leopoldin who came on a ship far, belong, far beyond the waves. Apparently, in his final moments, he's meant to cross over to a paradise for the dead. A cr da, 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 over to a paradise for the dead far across the sea called Tokyo no Kuni. However, that's not the only land of the dead in this legend. There's also one called Ninokuni, which is said to exist underground. It's pretty much a literal hellscape. In fact, now that I think about it, Onamuchi got his start at building Japan by entering hardships in the Ninokuni ne no kuni until he became a full-fledged god. So thinking about it like that, while Arise mo almost certainly has some aspects, 
aspects associated with the underworld to her personality, her actual world might be much closer to a god of creation. And if that's true, it would mean her spirit is probably... What, the... Amano no Boku? Ha! Good one. Nowhere in hell. No way in hell it could be that. Why not? That spear's a fake. It's basically a mage craft photocopy. And just as empty on the inside. Well, if anyone would know, it's definitely you. So, you think Arise can use projection magecraft? That, I can't say. If a servant. If any servant were to possess something like that, uh, the, blah, 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 like the original Amen no Boku, it'd have to be a high ranking divine spirit. But this Aris girl's spirit origin isn't anywhere near strong enough. I see, you do make a good point. Strong kiss or not, this is still just all speculation since we have yet to find anything on our way of hard evidence. So I say our next order of business is to do some serious investigation. Alright then, I'll leave you guys to it. Let me know as soon as you find something. Ciao for now! Come on, Voyager, say something. You must know Aris better than anyone. No, I don't know much about her at all. That wasn't the Aris I know. The Aris I know would never want to put an end to everything. I don't think Aris is the only thing off here. There's something off about Akihabara, too, about the whole Mon de Dieu thing, really. Yeah, everything is off here. So I have to stop her. Well, she obviously isn't on this tram, so she must have gotten on the one before us. Then we'll have to catch up to her. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm quite sure we'll run into her again in the next city. I hope you're right. Hmm. Oh, look! We're coming up on the tram's destination! So that's the second game, World of Mon de Dieu, huh? The next one seems to be considerably smaller. It looks more like a western farming village than a city. Hopefully that means it's a nice, it's a nice laid-back kind of game. If you think the sticks are all good-hearted people and an easy-going life, you're in for a rude awakening. Either way, at this point, all we know for sure is that we know nothing about this world. There's no telling what could be lying in wait once we arrive, so we better be prepared for everything, if for anything. That sounds scary. Your journey must have been hard. But it can't be too bad. There must be some really good things, too. Like Solari playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star at the end of the Russian Lost Belt. That was so bittersweet. Nichi <laughs> Fate Requiem, Board Games of the Apocalypse. Mopinalizing Mosaic City, Re. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Welcome to the world of Kalopoli. The rules are simple. Roll the dice to determine the number of spaces to move and something will happen on whichever property your pieces end up on. Good luck nabbing those tokens! I have accidentally restarted the game! <laughs> oh well... Let's go! Ooh, a six! This mansion is very old, but it still has a sign up. I guess this means someone's running a business here too. Welcome to Aragon, where we serve pancakes all day, every day. And not just any pancakes. They're so soft and fluffy, you'll swear you're dreaming. Ooh. Table for, free, for three? We'll fire up the griddle right away. That sounds delicious, but I don't know. 
I know what you mean, but it'll be fine as long as you don't think about it. Come to think of it, it also seems oddly dark and damp here. It's true, this place has a somewhat interesting history, but that also means we got we got it for a steal. Hey, someone's here and they're sneaking towards us. Shh, don't look at them. Eye contact really riles them up. Wait, this restaurant's in a haunted house? Come here, Edison. <laughs> and Castamus, I shall show you off. Oh wait, you're not bonus servants. Hang on. Gordon and Marie. Let's go. くるがよいゲロ。いい魔術のみと自らを縛るのも王の度量よ。ねえ、なんとさて、あれがあったの。ささやか。Face the wrath of a level 98 Gilgamesh. <laughs> well, Castermish. So close, Edison. Ma, yes, Ariel, who tell, 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 <laughs> Ow. All the ghosts are gone for now, but for some reason it feels colder than ever in here. Um, I'm very sorry about this, but... I'm afraid they all see you as enemies now. So, what does that mean? Don't ask. Just run away as far as you can. Here, this will help you keep you safe. David? But, um, what about the pancakes? Priorities. There's no time for pancakes now. Your lives are in grave danger. Good grief, don't tell me you plan all along. Don't tell me you plan on having all our customers pan pancakes for yourself again, Abby. I only had their best interests in heart, honest. In my opinion, people shouldn't be so quick to swallow everything they're served when they're in a foreign world. <laughs> sure, Abigail. Sure. Man, I want some pancakes. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. Roll the dice. I only have this one. Pancakes. He's so cute. I'm stopping. What is happening? I don't even know 
when I found this junk. You want it? Help yourself. Oh, Mordred! Wait, you're calling Mordred junk? Thank you, thank you. Hey. Ooh, bonus quest. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Crunchy scramble. Oh God! It's you. <laughs> I mean, you're not that bad, but it just reminds me that I'm stuck in the sea of emptiness in the Indian Lost Belt right now. They have six legs. I always thought they only had four. Huh, I should be more observant of my enemies. Oh, I just think that should quite low on health. Oh, whoops, I forgot to change- I forgot to change, uh, targets, my bad. I am the bone of my soul. As I pray, Bye, Edison. They have now, like, little effects on servants who are poisoned now. That's cool. I wonder when they added that. Or am I just not observing? <laughs> Roma. こんにちは。お知らせって何がかかオープン。ネクストミッション。さあ、動こう。オープン。ネクストミッション。オープン。ネクストミッション。さあ、動こう。駆け出そう。オープン。ネクストミッション。さあ、動こう。オープン。ネクストミッション。さあ、動こう。駆け出そう。I <laughs> have no self-control. Okay, wait. Let's test it with a friendship summon. We got a lot of servants. <laughs> Please come home. Please come home. Nope. Got a four star craft essence. Why 
One more. <laughs> one more. Just, just one more. Okay, that fourth star cra craft essence was a fluke. Dang it! <laughs> I wanted him to come home. So <laughs> <badly>. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I don't believe俺のためとはいえ、弟を安崎とか普通どんびくよな。俺悪くないよな。どこまでも。4。アンテナ。感度良好。新しい。バザ。<笑> It's a stray dog. Maybe it's lonely. Why don't we play with it for a while? Bazaka! Mine up. I would rather have it. The cut! あ、もう<笑> Second game, Werewolves in the Haunted House. I now ask those of you invited to the second game. Are you werewolves? <gasps> it's this costume for Marie! here not even a trace it doesn't look like she's in this building it's very unfortunate but right now if we need to get a handle on this um werewolf situation because i'd like to think 
as I think would be plain to see, I'm a lion, not a wolf. I could be a wolf if you want. I erased the world impossible from my dictionary. Long ago, after all. Werewolves? What's this all about? I'm afraid I just don't understand. Dang, Moet's art looks nice. No need to overthink it, Maria. This is a festival, right? No different from wearing a costume, I'm sure. Oh, I see. Now that you... Now that you mention it, you look like a werewolf yourself, as Amadeus. Right? Not bad, huh? Oh yes, it suits you wonderfully. I must say, your highness, that colorful outfit suits you wonderfully as well. Thank you, Dion. Since we're playing a game today, I thought I'd try a more mischievous look. And I'm letting my danger fly high and proud. So you're not even going to bother to hide your bestial nature behind your vulgarity. Ugh, you disgust me. If I were a hunter, I'd be taking aim at your head as we speak. I understand how you feel, but please try to control yourself. Execution should only be handled by trained professionals. Indeed. Everyone has a role to play. Commoners, mere extras. The spotlight could sh should be reserved for those with God-given talent. Yes, the time for discussion has ended. Now sing, my little lost lamb, sing. I love to sing. What would you like to hear? A song of sixpence? Lizzie Borden? That's enough. All of you be quiet. We'll never get anywhere if you keep speaking out of turn. Um, I'm sorry if this is silly of me, but I'm still afraid I s don't understand how this game works. As far as I can tell, it appears to be a philosophical game designed to represent the dual nature of humanity. Um, <laughs> I still don't get it. Do you think you can dumb that down a little for me? He means that some of us have to play werewolves. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. This is a survival game where every player is invited to the mansion, tries to be among the last ones standing. Most of the players are assigned the role of good-hearted villagers, but a small handful have to play as dangerous killers. Werewolves, in this game's case. Nobody can know which role other players have, except for fellow werewolves. Every night, the werewolves choose one person to kill, while the all the villagers, while all the villagers can do is meeting is meet during the day to choose someone suspicious for execution. Oh my! What a terrifying game! Goodness, this seems particular form. This it seems this particular form of entertainment is a little much for fair maidens to handle. For my part, I just think it is an incredibly poor taste. May I ask what manner of execution we use? In this game, chosen suspects have to be hanged. No guillotines. Oh, thank goodness! I would hate to be reminded of that ghastly instrument of death. I have to disagree. Hanging is an incredibly painful and inhumane method of execution. Just because one is being executed doesn't mean they deserve undue suffering. Absolutely, rope is such an ugly way. It's an... It's an upfront to beauty itself. It strangles the soon-to-be deceased singing voice before it robs them of their life. If you think that's bad, gentlemen, you should see the awful electric chairs they use nowadays. They're the hot new thing in the execution world. And of course they make use of the detestable alter alternating current. That's enough execution talk now for now, thanks. Getting back to the werewolves. Getting back on topic, as I said, the goal of this game is to survive. If you're a villager, that means you need to kill all the werewolves. And if you're a werewolf, you need to deceive the villagers into thinking you're not. If the last werewolf falls, the villagers win. If enough villagers die, that the survivors number the same as the werewolves, the werewolves win. 
As the <clears throat> overseer, I promise to watch over the proceedings fairly and in partly. Any questions? Um, Senpai, Voyager, and I all have been in the same team so far, so... Not a problem. I'll make an exception for the three of you. Just like that, without seeking consent from the other players? Game or not, how can this that be fair? Face it, Solari, some people are just born luckier than others. And just what is that supposed to mean, Asmodeus? Stop that! There will be no fighting! We are here to enjoy the game, nothing more. Do not ruin our fun by bringing in personal vendettas. In that case, Fern, I will warn you now. Be very afraid. As exceptions to the rules, you will be shunned by villagers and werewolves alike. Though fortunately for you, I'll be sending you to the gallows well before that becomes a problem. Does that mean you'll be gunning for me rather than Asmodeus? Wow, Fern, that's downright mir miraculous. You should be honored. I didn't think it was even possible for Solari to hate somebody more than me. D do you think so? Solari doesn't seem to hate Senpai as much. Since servants are all leaving their master's asides to participate as lone heroic spirits for this game, I think just letting Fern take part as a master means it is more than fair to make an exception for her. Then I take it that means her, she and her team can be considered a single target for purposes of execution. Of course. Huh? Mm. Uh, we're still talking about a game here, right? We are, but here in this mansion, the game's rules make up the entire world. So I urge you to do everything you can to survive until the end. Oh, well then. Sounds pretty serious for a game. I don't know if these people always had a screw loose, or if coming here made that happen. But I guess it doesn't matter. Things are still going to be chaotic as hell around here anyway. Um... I would just as soon avoid the chaos if we can. Don't worry, Mash. This is all a game, right? So let's just enjoy it. Don't overthink things. Does that mean you'll let me join you'll let us join the game too? Of course! The more the merrier after all. Especially when it comes to fun occasions like this. I'll be taking part two, of course. Every game can use a symbol of cool headed cool headed intelligence after all. Let's have more fun, mon frere. Oh gosh, I'm starting to get really nervous. Alright now. Alright, now that we have all our players for the second game, let's get started. Game start! Day one. The second game is called Werewolves in the Haunted House. First, I'll tell all 12 players and our special troop group of three, their respective roles. Check the cards you've been dealt, but make sure no one else sees them. Ah, my beloved angel. Shh, quiet. Oh my! Well now... What?! You've got to be joking! Quiet, please. But... Don't worry about it. It's just a game. No point getting worked up about it. What card did you draw, Senpai? Seer? What? Oh yes, I almost forgot. This game also has a number of specialized roles. The seer belongs to the villager's side. Every night, they can define the identity of one player. That sounds like a huge freaking deal. Yeah, the werewolves would be after us if they figure out we're the seer. The knight, who also belongs to the villager's side, can protect one of the players from a werewolf attack. But only once per night. 
So this is essentially town of Salam, right? The frantic is a traitor to the villagers. They work in secret aid to the werewolves and bring about the villagers' ruin. The frantic knows who the werewolves are, but the werewolves do not know who the frantic is. The lovers are a special role that two players hold in addition to their other roles. They may or may not be on opposing sides, but they can always tell who their partner is. The lovers win if both survive in to the end. However, if one should happen to die, the other must follow suit. What about my angel? Huh? If there are lovers in this game, then my angel ought to be out here as well. Get it together, Phantom! Janine's only talking about the game's rules. Are you my angel? Huh? Sing. Sing, my angel, sing! Stay away from Dion! Mine! I mean, <clears throat> I respect them. Do you want to hear a song? Then get a load of this. <laughs> Wait, what? My name is Napoleon. I'll make the impossible happen. Go! Impressed? More like impaled. What a fortissimo. And that one emphasizes self-love and delusion of grandeur, no less. What are you talking about? This is a sauna of my own composition. The great Pagini wrote and performed it for me himself. Granted, I did just come up with the lyrics on the spur of the moment. <clears throat> if you're all finished, I'd like to tell you how the game is actually played now. All of you, the Maiden of Orleans is about to grace us with a proclamation, so settle down and listen up. Gah. Oh, good one. That hit him right where it hurts. Every good commander needs a booming voice, especially when amassing a large amount number of troops all at once. I'm surrounded by barbarians. Maybe I should just hang you all in the gallows while I'm at it. Not without following the hanging rules, you won't. Based on what you told us earlier, I'm assuming we all decide who to hang through a vote? Right you are. So, does that mean we all have to discuss who to vote on? Can we really r arrive at a decision that way? We have to, whether we like it or not. It's the only way to eliminate risks. Because if we just stand around twiddling our thumbs, the werewolves will just have our, their pick of the villagers. Hmm, so it's essentially a private courthouse. Only a half step removed from a lynch mob, really. <laughs> oh, let's not spoil our fun by overthinking. Let's just enjoy the game with all the thrills it has to offer. Good point, Marie. As you say, this is a game. One we all have the right to enjoy. I still don't like the hanging part, though. Not after all the hangings I botched back then when I was 16 or 17. Oh, Sanson. So hey, the game's ready, already begun, right? Yes, it has. Then, does that mean we have to hang someone? Not on the first day. First now, I suggest you all talk to one another and gather as much information as you can. The more players' identities you can figure out, the better your odds of survival will be. And as a quick reminder, on top of the villages, your numbers include a seer, a knight, and two lovers. And don't forget, there's also a fanatic who two and two werewolves among you. <gasps> I can only gasp so many times. Two werewolves. I know who one of them is. It's me. Huh? Who la la? This is quite the twist right out of the gate. Do you mean it, little Madame Bourzel? Yes, I do. I don't want to be a big bad wolf. They're the enemy of children and stories everywhere. So please hurry up and hang me so I can leave this game as soon as possible. What a noble child. I know. She almost seems divine. I guess it just goes to show that even werewolves can be honorable. No, this cannot be the truth. I refuse to accept it. Please, my little fairy tale angel, don't go. I just can't let an angel go. 
Hold on, how do we know Miss Nursery Rhyme here is even telling the truth? I would never tell a lie! I hate lies! Can I ask you something? Of course, Fern, anything! Do you know who the other werewolf is? Of course! But I won't tell you who it is. It would spoil the game. Well said! For one, uh, for one, don't have any problem trusting you. I, for one, don't have any problem trusting you, little mademoiselle. <laughs> Why, thank you. Still, I can say there's one other player besides me who knows a second werewolf's identity. Someone who would be very put out if their identity came to light. That's a riddle if I ever heard one. Are you talking about the fanatic? I can't tell you. That's a secret. Well, I'm not worried. I'm sure this person will find your actions just as inspiring as I have. Do you really think so? I do. Personally, I'm willing to follow you to the ends of the earth. Absolutely. You are both honorable and beautiful. I too will follow you to the ends of the earth. Now sing, my angel. Sing for me! They're not very good listeners, are they? Sure, I'll be glad to sing for you. How about the man with the twisted lip? The man with the twisted lip Cut across a twisted path He spends all day his twisted days Coming up with twisted ways Oh my, that was wonderful. I got chills down my spine. Talk going nowhere, huh? Yeah. I must say, genius though I am, he, even I am getting confused. Hmm, in that case, why don't I take up a conductor's b baton for a bit? The Queen of Night Area seems to have matched the mood perfectly. Oh, I know that one. Of course you do. My compositions are some of the greatest masterpieces humanity has ever produced. But never mind now. Everyone, your attention please. I have a proposal. Forget it! I'll never consider any idea that comes from you. Well, speaking for myself, I'd love to hear your idea. As would I. It's not every day. One gets to see the wolf Wolfgang had Medea's Mozart conduct in person. Why, thank you, Gills. Maria, I have told. Have I ever told you how much I love you? As for you, Antonio, perhaps we should try and calm down. Maybe a few deep breaths will help. Don't call me by my first name. It makes me sick and stop wasting our time. You're right. That's a great point, Antonio. I'm sure, as I'm sure you've all noticed by now, it's impossible to have a serious discussion with all of us here. We keep wasting time on chit-chat, discretions, gossip, bragging, and songs. Not to mention that some people I can name are terrible listeners. If we don't do something about this mess, the remaining werewolf will pick off all the villagers before we can even settle on a single suspect. We need a rule, a rule that'll help us advance the game, and use our time while rather time well rather than wasting it okay what do you have in mind oh my god that sprite's really pretty it's simple we limit how how much we can speak in 10 minutes per day per player each player can own can also only ask one question per day and that question is part of, uh, uh, counts as part of their speaking time this alone ought to make a big difference hmm. the logic is sound Huh, that shut you up. Guess you're not just automatically against anything Amadeus has to say after all. True, we do need some rules on a speech. Amadeus' proposal makes a lot of sense. But don't you think this is a little too strict? I have to agree, restricting our ability to converse will only make it easier for, well, for the werewolf's identity to remain hidden. You think? If anything, it would give them a fewer opportunities to fold the wool, um, fur over our eyes. How could you say that, Maria? You make it sound like I'm some kind of con artist. Make it sound like? <laughs> I know he's frequently misunderstood, but Amadeus never says anything that isn't helpful. It just sounds like he always he's always joking around because he loves to tease people. 
If you say so, my queen. What about you, Joan? What do you think? Don't ask me. My only role in this game is as its fair and imperial ruler. Impartial ruler. Ah, uh, of course. Please forgive. Don't back down. We're talking about the rules of the, this game. In the first place, do this world systems even let players make their own decisions about them? That's up to all of you. So we can change the rules as long as we want to? Is that what you're saying? That's the last you'll hear from me on this subject. All right, let's put it to a vote. We'll, set us, we'll settle this democratically. All those in favor of Amadeus's proposal, line up on my right. All oppose, on my left. Go! Since we're a three-person group acting as a single player, we probably shouldn't vote it separately. We'll go along with whatever you decide, senpai. What's your vote? I'm in favor. It makes things more interesting. In favor, huh? Understood. In favor? Opposed. Oh, Charlotte just like zoomed in like last minute. Interesting. Those in favor have it. We officially adopt Amadeus' proposed rule. This is ridiculous. I refuse to go along with it. Is that your way of saying you wish to begin your remarks for the day? <clears throat> you can keep going if you want. Just keep it under ten minutes. Cursed fools. I can't believe they fell for the... For the... Gold... Gottlieb's nonsense. Werewolves in the haunted house. Characters. Antonio Solari, day one, remarks. At first, I thought Fern should be banished from the, these premises, given her heretic... This exceptional circumstance. But now I see it is you who pose the greatest threat to these proceedings, Mozart. Mark my words, I will see you hanged before you invite even greater disaster upon our heads. Wolfgang Amidius, Mozart, day one remarks. Yikes, how frightening. You really mean business, don't you, Antonio? But try to remember, this is all just a game. Anyway, as a matter of fact, I still have something I'd like to say. Remember the different roles J Joan told us about? Specifically the seer. Huh? Well, it's me. I'm the seer. <sighs> I swear being blessed with such pro 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 prodigious talent can be such a burden. That's not true! The real seer is Master Fern! Uh, I just gave away our identity, didn't I? Uh, I'm so sorry, senpai. It's okay. <laughs> I was planning on revealing it anyway. Actually, I wasn't. Now the werewolves are going to be after us. It should make it easier for the other villagers. Well, this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting anyone to take issue with it so soon. Why would you lie about this? Does that mean... You're one or the other where- well, I know I look suspicious right now, right? And this is- this is the unfortunate outfit choice. <laughs> and this unfortunate outfit choice can't be helping. But come on, think about it. Why would I try so hard to stand out when I already look so suspicious? If I want to survive, the smart thing would do- would be not to draw attention to myself, right? Well, the reason I'm standing out is because I have an obligation to fulfill my seer du duties. Especially with a certain little girl's werewolf reveal throwing a wrench into the works right from the get-go. Are you talking about me? But of course, my idealistic Marchian maiden. Well, I would love to, uh, love to take you on your innocent word. I still to make sure. I still need to make sure your story checks out, since children are so prone to lying. So I told you all. I was the seer, in hopes of finding out the truth behind your confession. 
But now we have another supposed seer trying to pin me as a liar. I don't know what I'm going to do. Why is he saying all of this? Could there be some greater meaning behind these remarks? All right then, Fern. I have a challenge for you. If you really are the seer, then you won't mind divining, divining Miss Nursery Rhyme's identity, right? I'll do the same, of course, and when we're done, we can compare the results. If one of our answer turns out not to match, then we'll know for sure one of us is lying. You're on! I seriously don't know what his angle is right now. Oh, you've got guts! This is going to be fun. Oh, and one more thing, Mash. Can I assume your last statement marks the end of your of your remark time? Oh, um, I suppose it does. Oh, but don't worry. I'm willing to let you say one more thing if you want. I'm generous like that. Stop smirking. You're acting as though you made all, you made all the rules yourself. So, I can still say one more thing if I want to then? Okay, understood. Nursery rhyme. Day one remarks. I'll never tell a lie. If you want to divine my identity, go right ahead. Although, I am curious to how you actually conduct your divinations. If you're going to do them night, tonight, make sure you wake me up for them, okay? Charlotte Corderay. One day, day one remarks. I... I just have so many feelings. I'm not even sure where to begin. Oh wow, this might be the most fulfilled I've ever felt, ever. Phantom of the Opera, day one remarks. That was a pretty good monologue. I haven't heard such moving poetic statement in, su in some time. Thomas Edison, day one remarks. Putting the game aside for a moment, allow me to offer my professional opinion on a different matter. This mansion's lighting is atrocious! It needs to be outfitted with proper wiring! By of course, I mean direct current. Just say the word and I'll have this place wired up in no time flat, and it'll be very affordable- The rest of his ten minutes were spent explaining te technical minutes. Charles Henry Sanson, Day One Remarks at the risk of repeating myself yet again, I cannot endorse hanging. It's not too late to reconsider. I wonder if there's a place on this mansion's property property where I could put together a guillotine. Of course, it would only be a non-functional replica, but regardless, I need to do what I can to upload my duties as an executioner. Everyone deserves a peaceful death, regardless of what sort of person they are. Don't worry, Mary. I won't let the werewolves sink their filthy fangs into you. Marie Antoinette, Day One Remarks Oh my, having everyone hanging on what I say <laughs> like this is a little nerve-wracking, especially given the earlier misunderstanding I caused. Then again, I guess I don't have to worry about that, since this is a private session today. I hope you'll all forgive me if I mess up somehow. Alright, I need to talk about the werewolves, don't I? I'm sorry, it still hasn't really sunk in yet. I can't tell if I'm feeling frightened or thrilled. I still feel like this is all fun and games right now. I guess I might feel differently tomorrow. Since somebody here will be gone by then. Oh, I love you all so much! Chevalier Dion, one day remark. Day one remarks. As a knight who has sworn felty to the French royal family, I will do whatever the queen wishes. That is all. I mean it. I have nothing more to say. Stop laughing, Amadeus! Gilles Derez, day one remarks. Though Her Majesty and I may have come from different time periods, as a soldier of France, I am certainly willing to pay the respect she deserves. And of course, the Maiden of Orleans herself ordered me to enjoy this game. So enjoy it I must, come hell or high water. And while I am making my best effort to do just that, if I am being honest, I must also say that I still find this all very confusing. If one of these werewolves were to attack me now, I would cut it down on the spot, and it would be the end of- Oh right, we need to hang them, don't we? 
Truth be told, I'm relieved we're using the gallows. I'm not sure I could control myself if we were to burn them at the stake. <sighs> hmm? All right, this is only a game, isn't it? A bit of fancy for, fu for fun. Amir Alter, day one remarks. I'll give you one piece of advice. The fact that we've got two people claiming to be seers means that one of them's got to be fake. Which means, they're also probably a werewolf. So if we just hang them both, we'll definitely be reducing the werewolf's numbers. Yes. That also means we'll be sacrificing an innocent villager. But in the big picture, we'll be reducing the total number of casualties and improving our odds of victory. He's got a point. Napoleon Bonaparte, day one remarks. I don't ca I don't do cowardly. I'm not about to kill any and I'm not about to kill any innocent people either. Sure I know this is all a game, but even so, I don't want to rely too much on underhanded tactics. I'm either going to win boldly or I'm going to lose gracefully. That's all there is to it. Fern, day one remarks. I'm sorry I inadvertently used up our speaking time earlier, Sentai. But if you'd still like to say something, it looks like we have time for at least one more statement. <sighs> Honestly, I'm exhausted. I just want to hurry up and turn in for the day. Oh, of course! I'm sorry I didn't realize. Divination... tonight? Ah! Looks like we might be pulling an all-nighter. Jesus Christ! <gasps> <laughs> I take it back. The dog's no longer welcome. Huh? No. All right. It's it's time for the first day to come to an end. Wow, the sun just set instantaneously. Is that because of this game? This is a game? <clears throat> Indeed it is. Wow, that's helpful. Okay, players. Now I want you all to go to your personal rooms and wait there until morning. Don't worry, this is game time, so it won't take long. For those of you with special roles, I'll be stopping to visit you all individually. And now we're in our room, just like that. I guess that's also because we're in a game world right now. What a strange feeling. Speaking of our... Pardon me. I'm filled with strawberry milk. Um, speaking of our room, it looks like we'll all be sharing it. Uh, I just realized since there's only one bed here, how, what are we going to do about sleeping arrangements? That's easy. We penguin huddle. I'm not sleepy. But I want to snuggle you. I don't think we'll have much time to sleep anyway. Right, good point. Since you're the si- Dang! Joan, how did you- In-game shortcut. Don't worry about it. I, uh, I see. Okay. Oh, stranger danger! Um, 219, thank you for the follow. I'm so sorry I didn't notice earlier. Okay, seer friends, seer, seer friends, lean. It's time for you to take your turn. Whose identity will you divine? No seer arms. Very well then, come with me. We'll take the in-game shortcut to go see her. Wouldn't it be simpler to just use the door? Maybe, but even the act of aud audibly leaving and entering a room can betray crucial information to other players, which would put you at a significant disadvantage. Oh, I see. After everything that happened during the day, would it really matter if... Okay, here we go! Oh, you should know that there'll be enemies waiting for us along the way, so watch out for that. I is it just me, or are there a lot of aspects in this game that make no sense whatsoever? That's just the way it was designed. Get used to it. Wait, this was all leading up to a battle? I thought this was just reading. 
<laughs> okay, who are we fighting? Oh, I completely forgot I made up this wrong. Oh, are they reusing the asset from the Salem Judge area? I think they are. I think I recognize this from the or is this a whole new asset altogether? まさて、あれがあったの。どうした何かしてみせろ。死んで。どうした何かしてみせろ。どれにしようかな。え、我が声を聞け。動くな。全方論。会場。矢を構えよ。俺が許す。思考の財を持ってウルクの守りを見せるがいい。狙う。全員。B、全てを見なさい。全てを見抜きなさい。我が保証。その大いなる力を手向けなさい。ピース。ピース。そのまま氷なさい。いつか溶ける日も来るでしょう。There we go. Okay, let's just finish this little area. Nursery Rhymes Room, but we're only observing it from the shortcut area. She's certainly sleeping soundly, isn't she? Alright, Seer, Seer Fern, go ahead. See Nursery Rhymes' true identity for yourself. Oh, she truly is a werewolf! You did it, Senpai! Then this means Nursery was telling the truth, yeah. So, is she going to attack someone now? Huh? The werewolves take their turn last, after all the other roles. Are you going to go help them? If I have to, they're going- if they're going- I have to if they're going to take their turn. You're going to take them to kill somebody. That's the name of the game! Weird. Okay, that ends your turn for the night. Let's get you back to your room. There'll be enemies on the way back, too. But once you're done with them, it won't be long until morning. Lower their defense. I never realized how cute Sir Alex has got these voices. あれを撃て撃て撃て。動くな。どうした？何かしてみせろ。よし、あれを使うか。死んで。どうした？何かしてみせろ。<笑> Yes, I'll 
それなりに様にはなっているかウキラキうん。I actually kind of have a sore throat now. Well, it's getting there. I can feel my throat getting ready to give way, so I suppose that's gonna be the end of the stream. Thank you, thank you so much for coming to my little garden of gameplay. And I think I will throw you at this random person. I wonder if they are friend shaped. <laughs> they seem to be chilling out, so. Thank you, thank you once again for coming. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Boop. A raid has been created. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Just talking until the raid is ready. Boop, boop. <laughs>